Okay, so welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So sa video presentation na to guys, ang isi-share ko sa inyo ay kung paano po tayo mag-prepare para sa ating uh, examination sa renewal sa ating mga ikama. Okay? Kasi napaka-importante po yan ngayon guys. Kasi hindi po tayo makapag-renew ng ating mga ikama kung hindi po tayo makapag-exam ng Saudi Professional Verification Program. Okay? So bagong patakaran po ng Saudi Arabia sa lahat ng mga trabahante na nandito sa kanilang kaharian. Okay? So panoorin nyo po yung video na to. Eight conditions for Saudi Professional Verification Program. The Saudi Human Resources Social Development Ministry has launched the fourth phase of the professional verification program under which doctors, engineers, accountants, technicians, and paramedical staff will have to pass a phase for the ICAMA renewal. Five stages professional verification implementation. First phase on July 1, 2021, companies with 3,000 or more workers. Second phase, on September 1, 2021 with 500 to 2,999 workers. The third phase on October 1, 2021 with 50 to 499 workers. The fourth phase on November 3, 2021 with establishment 6 to 49 workers. The fifth phase will be next year, January 2, 2022, establishment with less than 6 workers. Theoretical exam for ICAMA renewal for electrician category. 15 questions that need to be answered within 30 minutes. Examinees, choose your preferred language. Available languages are English, Arabic, Urdu, Filipino. The exam is divided into two sections. First, computer-based theoretical test. The second, practical test. Take note, all these questions are examples only for your preparation. Question number one. Identify the image which wire is used for telephone. E, B, C, D. So the answer is D. Question number two. Identify the image. Which device is called smoke detector? E, B, C, D. So the answer is D. Question number three. What is the use of this device? A. For cable pulling. B. For fixture lighting. C. For chipping. D. For decor lighting. So the answer is A. For cable pulling. Question number four. What is the use of bus bar? A. To carry large amount of current. B. To carry large amount of amperage. C. To carry large amount of voltage. D. To carry large amount of wattage. So the answer is A. To carry large amount of current. Question number five. If you connect clamp meter in convenience outlet, what you will get? A. Bolts. B. Watts, C, Amps, D, Current. So the answer is A, Volts. Question number 6. What is the symbol for ceiling junction box? A, B, C, D. So the answer is C. Question number 7. Identify the image. Which type of convenience outlet used for outdoor? A, B, C, D. So the answer is D. Question number 8. You must think this situation. If you encounter the same problem in the building, the main cable is heating, what should be the electrician's first to check? A. Checking the voltage rating. B. Checking the amperage rating. C. Checking the wattage. D. Checking the continuity. So the answer is B. Checking the amperage rating. Question number 9. What is the use of circuit breaker? A. Overload. B. Short circuit. C. Overheat. D. Over voltage. So the answer is A. Overload. 
Question number 10. Identify the image. Which device is called EMP conduit binder? E, B, C, D. So the answer is A. Question number 11. Identify the image. Which bend of the cable tray is used in the corner? A, B, C, D. So the answer is B. Question number 12. Which material is not used for electrical conduit wiring? A, B, C, D. So the answer is A. Question number 13. If you are going to change overhead lights, which of the images you are going to use? E, B, C, D. So the answer is A. Question number 14. To protect the electrical circuit from damage, which of the following? A. Switch B. Fuse C. Circuit breaker D. Socket So the answer is C. Circuit breaker Question number 15 Identify the image. Which of the following is the symbol of the first aid? A. B. C. D So the answer is B. Prepare your practical test. In your practical test, one of these diagrams is your assigned practical test. First, how to wire two-way or three-way switch controlling one bulb in two locations plus convenience outlet. Second, how to wire three-way to four-way switch controlling one bulb in three locations. Third, how to wire two-way or three-way switch controlling one bulb in two locations. Dito sa practical test guys, ilalagay ko po yung uh, link dito sa video description. Okay? So, para mapanood nyo po yung mga tutorials.